we will understand the Sun in Pisces exactly the same way that we've understood every planet and every sign so far. We just look for resonance between what the planet symbolizes and what the sign symbolizes, and then we judge whether that, res that resonance is harmonious or dissonant and interpret accordingly. So, for example, let's look at the first major resonance between the Sun and Pisces. <laughs> The root of the matter is at the root of what each one symbolizes. The sun at its core symbolizes the soul. The sun is called soul, actually, in many languages. What a soul is is a bit mystifying to many modern people, but a soul is the core essence of a thing. The true substance of the thing is its soul. So when we talk about soul, we talk about the inner core, the true central essence of the thing. That's why the glyph for the sun is a circle with a dot in the middle, the core, the center, the central focus. That's why the sun signifies things like authority figures who are the central focus, centrality itself, stability itself, etc. So really at the core of what the sun symbolizes is the inner core, the soul of a thing. Pisces, the essence of what Pisces is all about is depth. This is why it's signified by fish. So depth is very much resonant with soul. They both have to do with the inner workings of things, the core of things. And so we deem this to be a harmonious resonance between the sun and Pisces. So we expect good things from this as a baseline. Hence, you interpret the sun and Pisces to mean something like this person with the sun and Pisces is deep. They don't tend to be shallow. They don't tend to be superficial. They tend to be able to perceive and feel things which are deep and comprehend and understand things which are deep. Now let's move on to look at some of the disharmonious resonances between the Sun and Pisces. And you'll see how this depth of Pisces can also work to challenge it sometimes. So for example, the next major resonance between the Sun and Pisces has to do with decisiveness versus indecisiveness. The sun is very clear cut. It puts harsh, clear, bright light on things. So you can obviously see what one thing is and what another thing is and decide. So the sun is decisive and clear. Pisces is underwater. There's not a lot of clarity underwater. Pisces is more about intuition, abstraction, depth signified by fish that go in opposite directions because it's well known to be not very decisive or not very conclusive. So you have a dissonant resonance on this theme of conclusiveness where the sun wants to be really conclusive but Pisces doesn't like to be conclusive because it keeps exploring the depths before it comes to conclusions. So what we expect as a baseline from the Sun in Pisces is the person with this placement tends to get stressed when they're forced to make decisions and come to conclusions on a deadline. Hence, they also tend to be cautious. They want to take their time before they make up their mind and hence they tend to be timid. They don't come out and say forceful or clear things because they're still considering a lot of different options. Now there's one more important resonance between the Sun and Pisces that I'd like to bring to your attention and that is the similar to this is an introversion extroversion issue. The Sun being masculine it's extroverting. It's putting light onto things and making decisions about things and telling people. Guiding, being a leader, it's extroversive. Pisces is fish underwater. It's introversive. It's Jupiter who's very thoughtful. It's water which is very thoughtful. And it's the dual uh, mode which is very, very thoughtful. So you have a dissonant resonance between extroversion and introversion. And what you can expect from that is that asserting oneself, expressing oneself, gets Piscean Sun people stressed. 
Now, all these three things that we've mentioned are the baseline theoretical interpretations for the sun in Pisces in a vacuum, devoid of any other circumstances in the chart, devoid of any other circumstances affecting the sun. In a real life chart, a sun in Pisces can be in various degrees in Pisces, can have various conjunctions in Pisces, can have various aspects, and so it can behave differently. But you'll always find these three key issues to be the core of what's going on with the sun in Pisces. So you may have a, a person, a Piscean sun person, who really, really works hard to assert themselves and be expressive and not be cautious because that's a major theme in their life because they have the sun in Pisces. But maybe that sun is aspected by some nice strong malefic planets from strong houses, etc. So what we can identify in these videos, these abstract videos about planets and signs, are the base themes. But what you have to do in individual charts is modify the base themes by the actual conditions. So please bear that in mind. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of the sun in Pisces. We finished the sun in all the 12 signs, kind of obviously. And next we will start looking at the moon. So please subscribe so you don't miss this. Thank you very much.